So guys, let's start by deleting the default cube and let's add a circle mesh. by pressing shift plus a so now we need to use the grid fill so to use grid fill you can simply press a uh, press control plus f and then we also need to subdivide it or you can e simply just use the f3 key and search up grid fill and yes guys you can subdivide by right clicking on the circle Now press E to extrude it on the Z axis and that should be alright. And now press R plus X to rotate the object on the X axis. So now add 4, sub, uh, four loop cuts and then scale them up. So not too much, let's scale it till about this much. And why are we doing this? This is because a bean bag has a circular kind of a shape. So we are actually going to turn on the cloth simulation, the cloth simulation for the circle. So after this, we are going to add a plane. And let's get it big and add the collision to it. So after selecting the circle again, Go down until you find pressure. Enable this checkbox and increase the pressure value to about 4. This will like make it inflate. So it's inflated right now. So find the perfect time when it's a perfect circle or at least the nearest point. So I'm actually trying to do that right now. So after you find the frame when this is a perfect oval then apply the cloth modifier and shade smooth the circle and go to edit mode and click O and find a random vertice that's on the front side and start grabbing it and moving it down press G plus Z to do it so make the front part a bit squashed inside as if someone has sat there like someone sat there before so this is how it will look you can modify this even more like grab the word is any random word is on the front side and click G plus Z to scale it down I mean move it down so you can modify this even more so that it becomes the perfect beanbag that you want it to become so let's go to the materials preview mode and let's start coloring it you can make it even more detailed by going to the shading tab but I'll keep it as the red color for now